Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And tonight we're back. We're back from PRGE. Yay! The cats are back home oh, from it's, Cat Jail. I haven't seen them in days. Days. Days, I say. Yes. And we're going to be playing the brand new <gasps> released game, Xeno Wings, Yay. for the Jaguar. Oh, kitties. The kitties are happy because they haven't had treat time in forever i uh, missed you so much yes, oh we did. did miss the kitties yes. and the kitties miss treat time so they are raring to go they've been practicing in their minds yeah <laughs> um so next year's prg is october 17th through 19th ah, nice. apparently yeah i didn't cool. know that uh they it's a little later yeah didn't know that they updated the times this early mm. but i guess they do welcome everybody we're gonna be um playing the game it's just kind of a quick show. Yeah. Because uh, it's unexpected and yeah. we have a concert to go to. Yes, we do. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so we're, we're going to be playing one game and we're going to be kind of uh, going over what we got at PRGE Yay, and what we're up to at PRGE. Nice. When's that Vectrex episode? Very soon because I have both games now. Nice. So that will be very fun. Um, although I did forget to buy the Vectrex covers. Yes. Uh, for my Vectri. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as S. Ramirez reminded me, yeah, <laughs> he asked me earlier today. He's like, "Hey, did you get those covers for your Vectrix?" I'm like, oh my god, the one, yeah, the uh, one thing you needed one to do. Thing no. I forgot. You oh, did many forget things. That. I yeah, forgot. there were many things, oh my god. <laughs> which is what happens. That's what happens when, when you have too to, much to do. Do a million things yeah, at once. That's true. Yep. Uh, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers who helped us support the show. Mm -hmm. uh, Alan for Andrew Atari, I'm Scott Coder, Atari 1974, Atari, Atari Dude, BR Poker, Bruno Stacks, Bust Error, Captain Classic, Chelsea, Donny Mile, Charles, Will and Chitla, La Serena Reboot, Dan, if you see Direct All, Direct Soul, Dark Mook House, Eric Cart, Gamma Dev, Gisbeth, Rondinelli, Great Defender, Altor, Ju, AJG. Actually, I can do it from here. It's much easier. One second. There it is. Uh, JG, Johnny, WC, Carl G, Karakak, Croco, 2600, developed for Land of Express, Maddie, Sympathy, Mark, Has, Bark, Spacing, Metal Atari, Make Muse, Mike, Soul, Mike, Thomas, Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan, Strum, Nostalgic, Pack, Rap, Prow, Quahog, Roy, Ranch, Roots, Raymond C, RC70, Grand, Ghost, Repentless, VG, Rabbit, Tilly, Six, Sweets, Mitty B, Spice, Wars, Spinley, Esmeralda, Thrust, 26, TK, Danny, K, Trek, MD, Tweeny, Vexarx, Vintage, Game, Oh, Vitoco, VVG Double Down and X Ken X. And just before the show started, S Ramirez resubscribed Yay. for 63 months. Ooh, oh my goodness. That is good. Crazy. Thank you, S Ramirez. Thank you so much. Yep. Um, so if you've messaged me over the past week in various places and I haven't got back to you, it's because I've been away and <laughs> been very busy. So I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible, but so be very, very patient. I'm trying to answer things while the convention wasn't yeah, on wasn't afterwards, really, but yeah. oh my God, we're book solid, of yes. course, because it's an exciting time. It is very exciting. And uh, also, what's my birthday tomorrow? <gasps> Did you Happy get early me, birthday! Did you get me another cat? Uh, did you a, want another cat? Because I can work something out. No, no. <laughs> these cats are enough. Two cats, two are, cats enough. are Two cats are plenty. Yeah. Two cats and a uh, what? A Bernie? Did the Bernie so probably go? I've had. To, where is the Bernie? <laughs> he's probably down. Oh, he's the back. up here. Okay. He had to go up here. Let's put him back there. See if he stays uh, there for he long. Probably was attacked. What is that cat doing there? I don't know. What so is he doing? So bad. There? <gasps> okay, <laughs> I'm gonna have to get him down. I'm sorry. There's lots of things up there that'll cause an avalanche of stuff that we don't need. Yeah. Let's get this cat over where he's near where he's supposed to be. <laughs> Thank you. It's my 51st. Happy I've birthday. I've had many. Hopefully this one's good. Yes. I'll uh, probably go in the weekend because tomorrow is thursday yeah not great oh uh, yeah we're gonna yeah. celebrate on the weekend yeah yeah it'll be fun yeah. two cats and a bernie sounds like a tv show <laughs> yeah, it does. yes it is a kiwi show uh, it's right focused playing on right now sets. actually yeah <laughs> so, welcome to two cats and a bernie <laughs> yeah. two guys a girl and pizza place yes that's right yes um thank you dan thank you dave yes. thank you cubanismo as ramirez a nostalgic <laughs> and everyone else who wishes me happy birthday uh, unfortunately, no option to fire off a treat time to get yes. some cake. Well, maybe. Uh, uh, cake goes here. Yeah, num, num, yeah, num. Yeah. Happy 25. Yes. Thank you, Polygox. Yeah. That's, that sounds like a good number. <laughs> um, let's show off, before we get into the game, what uh, we got. Okay. What mostly I got. 
Um, but we'll show off what you got. <laughs> the Hers. two things I got versus the 500 there you heated. Go. I got some stuffies, and I'm sure we'll be. Um, these will be little gifts when we have a retro game night. So you got a Kirby and we got a Mario star or a Kirby on a star <gasps> going Wee! flying off. Yes. Yeah. They're super cute. And then there were some... so many stuffies Yeah, and, and things we wanted to get, but didn't get <laughs> wanted some earrings, some shiny things. Uh, probably. I didn't get a lot of earrings. I did get a few little wristband things. I don't know oh, if you found them in there somewhere. I didn't. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Uh, like little keychains that that come with a wristband that had like different. There was a Contra one, and there was something else. So one of those for giveaway. They both for you. They're both for giveaways. They're oh, both for okay. giveaways. Yep. Not on the show. Yep. And that <laughs> concludes what I bought. <laughs> yes. Okay. So let's see what I got here. Let's, let's actually get out the t-shirts. You actually did get some t-shirts too. Uh, oh, uh, well, we're wearing. Oh my god! Lots of T-shirts. You, cat, black and white cat. Yes, specifically you. Get out of here. <laughs> so we're wearing. Oh, you're such a bad cat. Uh, T-shirts that we got. You got this awesome jaguar, and what's on the back? Because I've been waiting to get a jaguar shirt. Yes. I mean, this is. This, I was looking for a unique one, but I was like, yeah. oh, I'll just get this one. This is kind of the standard jaguar. You can get this in a million places. But it does double duty for two cats. Uh, let's see. And it's also a Link shirt. Yay. There we go. Nice. So I just have to wear it backwards. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, if you want to show off the links, you put the, the links the on the The collar front. might be a bit funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, can, yeah. you can live with that. And you got... Uh, uh, well, this was just a tie-dye Atari one. So it has like an embroidered Atari symbol. I don't know if you can see it very well. Uh, There's a little embroidered barely. Atari sy symbol. And yeah. it's a big tie-dye shirt. Uh, I like this got this shirt that or shirt? the tie-dye one? <laughs> one or the other. These were both at the Atari This booth. is like, it's very large and very comfy. And I might, it might be like a sleep shirt. It's quite large. So, but, and then uh, we got a lot of shirts. Um... If you can Gifted, well, unfold this given, and then you can bought. fold it. Yeah, sure. We got a Tootin' Common. Tootin' Com, sorry. Yeah, Tootin' Com arcade shirt from Champ Games in black. And wow, blue, one wow. for me, one for you. Oh, lovely. There we go. Tootin' Com in black and blue. Very nice. Very nice. Two tank ham, yes. Um... Ah, Cubanismo's got their Oregon Trail one on today. I like the Oh, Trail very one. nice. Yeah, that was a nice one. Yeah. At that, uh, they don't have a, they have a name. I looked for a banner at that booth and I didn't say, I, I swear they had it years yes. before, but. Yes, the booth that sells the, the t-shirts. Yeah. That I don't know what he's doing. Um, we got, um, yeah. some hats. Things covered in cat we got, fur already. How did that oh, happen? Of course. Yeah. Uh, Tari Age hat. Yeah. Right there in the back. Oh, very nice. Got two of those. In case we want to look like twins. Here, twins. And um, an Atari and television hat. There you go. <laughs> now that Atari owns in television. There we go. Got a television hat. Um, a lot of these were gifts because we helped out. We'll talk about that too. Yep. Uh, let's see. We got. Got a blue Atari shirt. Blue Atari shirt. I like that one. That was for me. Um, nope, it's for me. It's for it's me. My size. I bought nope. it in my size. Well, I grabbed it. Well, it's not your size, <laughs> so you failed. You got my size. Well, our this size might be similar. This is your. Oh, that one might be mine. Yes. Is that this, one mine? It's exactly the same. Yes. Okay, there you go. It's hey, the hey, same. hey! Is oh, it the no, same? It's not the same. It's not the same. Different color. I haven't even I haven't taken oh, these out of the bags yet. Cats, calm down. Cats, calm down. Does the Atari hat say garbage on the back? <laughs> Does it? Um, Mine? I really doubt it says garbage on the back. Let me look. Uh -huh. Ooh, look at that controller. Kitten, calm. Ooh, look at that controller. No, it Very says cool. it says Atari age. <laughs> garbage. Yeah, it's an official band t-shirt, uh, band hat from the band Garbage. Yeah. yeah. It says Atari age. <laughs> Has similar similar letters to garbage. But. It will fit James's slender dancer's frame. Correct. I'm a dancer. Did you see this one? Did you see what's on the back of this <laughs> oh, one? No. Yeah. Oh, so it's showed, I showed it off. Front and a controller on the back. Oh, nice. very stylized. I like that. Funny colored controller. It's kind of reddish or purplish. I like it. And then we have an Atari Age <laughs> shirt, but it has a Atari on the front. An Atari Age on the back. Good games yes. only need one red button. There you go. I agree. Mm -hmm. But you can have more than one button. Because 
sometimes it's easier with more more than one button kit and stop eating plastic <laughs> and let's see what this one is he's making up for all the badness he didn't oh, all the trouble yeah. he didn't cause for the last several days yeah, i'm so. sure he was an absolute angel the same one? for cat jail or is i it a think different one? it's the same one it is yay yep. same one very nice yep i like this one i love that symbol on the back i do too t-shirts we do not need any more clothing oh my god yeah cat yeah can you not eat plastic <laughs> there's already a problem in the world with oh. too much plastic yeah okay that's t-shirts one red button per the manual or one orange button in actuality yeah. are they kind of orange they kind of orangey red. yeah i agree with that uh the next thing i got is Ooh. this atari 5200 trackball controller it was the one controller I never had for all my systems. So I couldn't play trackball games on the 5200 because the other systems share one trackball because they have a different, uh, it has all the DB9 or nine pin uh, controller port, mm -hmm. um, but this has a different controller part. So you need a different roller ball. Plus you need all the buttons to start the game and Nice. pause the game and everything like that so now i'm going to be able to play the ones and ones of <laughs> this small handful of 5200 uh trackball controller yeah. games and nostalgic nostalgic yes, question yes. there is a uh, magical fairy force by mm. ryan whitmer yeah uses the trackball you can also use the joystick so we have played it with the joystick yeah i do but i've like never that. played it with the trackball i've only played it emulated with the mouse uh, make note that Atari trackballs are trackball controllers. No C. All others are trackballs or roller controllers. Funny. Yes. Right on the packaging. T-R-A-K controller. Uh, here's what the uh, badges look like this year. If you wanted to know. Oh, they're all tied up. Oh, well. So let me show you on the cat cam. Did that just turn on? Loudly. Did it just turn on? <laughs> oh, probably because it's on this profile. That's why. Um, so these are the, are the badges. Uh, uh, PlayStation controllers. Um, there's the back. If you want to do it. You know what? Pretty cool. They always change it every year. It's very, very nice. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Actually, you got uh, Alien Abduction on cartridge, finally. Nice. It's a beta tester, but uh, they forgot to ship it out to me. So um, uh, uh, Audacity was there. They had a booth, so we were able to pick it up, which was very nice. And the new game from Champ Games, Tutankham Arcade. And we're going to have uh, John Champo on the show on the 11th, so in a week and a half. Mm. Um, and I'll show you a couple things from the Atari age. Uh, massive amounts of release. A Calabath, a World of Doom for the Intellivision. A gorgeous, gorgeous cover. Uh, I'm not going to be opening up because we'll be doing all the unboxing on Atari age day coming Very up. Very nice. And this, Ooh. I don't even need the cat cam for this one. <laughs> <laughs> EXO. True collector's mission kit oh my god is it packed full of stuff um but we'll be unboxing that on atari age day nice talking to all the developers talking to al all that great stuff so you'll be able to see all the details there yes spiders is looking great we're also going to be playing uh debuting kind mm -hmm. of spiders even though it was at prge it'll be like the stream debut mm -hmm. uh we did play it there a little bit um, of spiders it plays so good mm -hmm. it is such an awesome shooter um and here is the big thing i got oh actually <laughs> before that i also got a uh 
Genesis style six button uh, controller. Oh, that's nice. uh, it was on my list. I can't remember why, but you know, I trust my past self to make good choices for me. So <laughs> hopefully that comes in handy one of these days. And the big thing, the big thing I bought that I was like, hmm, 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 should I get it? Hmm. <laughs> Tanya's like, well, if you're humming, yeah. you probably should it's always, get it. It's always like, if you're, if you're thinking about it for more than like 10 minutes, then you probably should. Get and it, so. I'm glad I did pull the trigger on this. Yes. Because yeah. they had it out. Yeah. Um, and I was humming and hawing, talking to Tanya, hum, ha. I kind of walked away, I think. Did no, I no, you, you no, didn't I walk away. There? Okay. Yeah. Um, then I said, okay, I'll buy it. Yeah. And they said, oh, only cash. I'm yes. like, okay. Yeah. Can you put my name on that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be right back and go get some cash. And right after, right after I said that, and I was walking away from the booth, I heard somebody come up to the booth and ask, do you have any Neo Geos? <laughs> so I bought a Neo Geo AES and they had none left because they only had one and a controller for the Neo Geo yeah. AES. This is something Very I nice. have lusted after <laughs> for many a decade, in fact. Yeah. Um, I don't know if It's Kev is watching tonight. It's Kev73. Yeah. He had one. Really? These. Wow. When it came out, he was crazy. These cost a fortune. Yeah. Because these are, you know, the they had an arcade cabinet for these. Yes, the yes. The Neo Geo M MVS. Yeah. And the games were exactly the same code yeah. at home as the arcade. And so you got actual arcade games at home. And these were like a thousand dollars. Like back then to buy i believe it's it's one of the most expensive home systems right. ever to come out yeah. i mean the 2600 was very expensive when it came out yeah but that's thousand dollars today money i think this was thousand dollars back then yeah i know i've been, <laughs> I've been re researching it and that neo sd multi-cart is about the cost of this yeah it's really expensive but yeah. i'm going to buy it because th that's the whole point because i need to play the so you, you know, said homebrew. they had like arcade console like they had like machines right yeah, that they had, had machine, Neo Geos. they had one two four and six port okay uh machines and they would have uh, a marquee at the top and they'd yeah. have little card inserts to which games okay and they would have those big chonky cartridges that would plug into the slots okay and they were the exact same size as the home cartridges wow they they were that big. Yeah. That yeah, big. Yeah. Huge. Um, you, ju you just knew a guy who heard of a guy owning one. one. Yeah. Pretty much. But I actually knew a guy who owned one and played his. <laughs> yeah. It's got some really great games. Got oh, Metal bet. Slug, some yes. great shooters. Yeah. It's mostly known for its fighting games, which I'm not interested in whatsoever, but it's got a lot of great games nice. to play on it. So yeah. MVS was the arcade, AES was the home console, and the, yeah, had the exact same game quality. Yeah. Yep. So mm -hmm. yeah, I am I'm very excited for that for that. It didn't come with a video cable or a power cable, but that's fine. They're that both very cheap. Easy I've already find. Yeah. I've already purchased them. Oh, there you go. And um, <laughs> thank you, Amazon. Right. Yeah. yeah. And so I will be um, picking up the uh, multi cart soon. Yeah. As soon as I do a little bit more uh, research, I think the multi cart is sold out right now, mm -hmm. so you can't even buy it. Mm. So I'm like, okay, I play nothing then. Because I don't really want to buy a, a 160 in one cart and then get a multi cart. Yeah, I can see that. It's like, oh, that's so much money. Have to wait till one pops up. Yep. Yeah. We'll just mm. have to put a... Watch that cat. He's chewing. He's sipping. There is a homebrew scene. I haven't done much research into it. I, I quickly glanced. There were some very simple looking puzzle type games um some simple shooter games i i'm gonna have to do some research and check out whether mostly they're released for free mm. or there's also a neo geo cd so do they release them on cd because those carts would be expensive to make mm. i don't know i'll have to do some research but there there is a homebrew scene mm. uh the tall t atari tower display reminded me of the old expos yes i think that's what they're going for with that with that look what are you doing so funny hey, he's silly i'm good okay Two silly cats right here yep hi they're happy yeah. happy to be home they purring are. purring purring yes 
Oh, spammers get ban hammered. Goodbye. Um, oh, it didn't get rid of the... Warning! Warning! <gasps> it's treat ball time! The treat ball is loose. A cardboard box! How do we get rid of the... I thought banning them got rid of... Ban ev Did you say that? Likely ban evader. Restricted. Oh, maybe it didn't show up? Okay, maybe it didn't show up. Good. Ban oh, evader. it didn't. Yeah. Oh, good. So okay, there you anything. go. Restricted um, it. So if you hmm. want to grab the cardboard... Maybe it's buried. Let me get the cardboard box. Oh, oh, oh. That was a very elegant jump, little guy. Oh, kitties. Thank, Thank you to our cardboard box. Yes, a cardboard box. And that means I get Happy out the cats. cardboard box for the kitties. For the, for, yes, for a cardboard box. There we go. <laughs> He's jumped right in there. <laughs> He's ready to go. All right, let's get some treats in the treat holder. There we go. Meow. Meow. They're desperate. I'm on stream. <laughs> yes, you are. Um, yeah, they've been missing their treats because, um, yeah, they've been in cat jail at the vet. They're not actual cat jail. For your crimes against humanity, you bad kittens. Oh. Uh-oh. Early treat mm -hmm. on the floor. Um... Yeah, we had a great time overall going to PRGE. We drove down yep. to Portland from Vancouver. It's six hours-ish, six and a half. Yep. Yep. Stopped in uh, Seattle <laughs> for some donuts, as we usually do if we cross Seattle at the right time and get there early enough. Yeah, you better wash those hands. Mm. Stinkers. Okay, you ready? Are you guys ready? All right. I'm with this. Is it adjusted? Yeah. yeah. Ready? Are um, you having trouble? No, it's just stiff for some reason. Okay. Are you I'm guys ready? And ready? Go! Combat box is genius. Yeah, some, yeah. At first, I I just put a box, and then somebody said, "Oh, you should put combat in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's the right <laughs> yeah. size so the it cats is. can combat. Yeah. They. We got two balls because one ball just one cat dominates it. So. Yeah. We thought two balls is better. Yeah, a kitten in a box, and we let Atari, <laughs> you know, take his time with his. So yes. there you go. Okay, so let's get to the game while they munch on those treats. So this is uh, Xeno Wings. Actually, let's get a look at the box first, really quickly, because we are going to be doing Atari Age Day. This is part of Atari Age Day. So this is uh, the Xeno Wings box. So nice. Very, so very nice. Very colorful. A never ending onslaught, I promise. And there is a bunch of games that had posters. This is no exception. So let's show off the manual, which is pretty much the same as the box us, cover. Ah. I'll switch over for the poster because it's probably big enough <laughs> to show on the stream like this. Welcome back, RC70. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> yeah, it was great seeing you, Steve, at the expo and hanging out. So there you go. There's the poster that comes with us, with it. This was a game that was previously Jalaga. Yes, that is correct. It was previously Jalaga. And, uh, Name change for obvious reasons. Let's crank it up. Dune. Just all the volumes here. Oh, I didn't notice the um, credits in the background. Oh my god. Atari Age Publisher. Greetings too. Lord Stable. Ah, 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 <laughs> ah, 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 so many. That's Master, awesome. Master Bastion Steg Zero Square for their help to debug. Greets to all the members of Dune. It's a little hard to read. 
<laughs> but it's very cool that they Flying by are the putting it like that. That is so cool. I didn't notice that before. Very like, subtle. Yeah. Our desert code, Michael. Oh, it's too fast. Matthew, music, guitar age, publisher. I think we've looked around. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we've got uh, multiple modes, arcade and caravan. Caravan is usually the contest mode. Um, it is a three minute caravan mode. So good for high score competitions like they have at PRGE sometimes. Um, sound options, stereo on off. Uh, I guess that's in case you have left out and it's not down mixing, I guess. Music volume, effects volume, they're both the same. Hopefully the makers of the game have mixed them correctly. And this should have absolutely no high score. So there's a whole bunch of people that uh, recognize the names of. <laughs> there you go. And Amiga has 10 points. So that's the one to beat. So I will uh, text and background, strange idea. Uh, I wonder if Al would consider a book to show off the artwork of homebrew manuals and boxes. Mm. Oh, well, he's definitely done plenty enough to oh, fill a yes. book. Oh, yes, yeah. Yeah, you could do an, uh, the art of Atari Age. Yes. And have like a screenshot of the game and mm. the cover and the manual and a little bit about the... Um, game designer that's a job for somebody else it's not me yeah <laughs> <laughs> that sounds, sounds like, like he wants to make it doesn't no he? it does but uh that would take up a lot of time oh. Oh. okay did you pick the arcade mode yes okay so i'm gonna read out a bit from the manual as you play this unbelievably amazing looking game oh my god so this is actually based on Galaga 88, it says in the forums. And it's made by Eric Desert. I hope I pronounced that right. Probably not. Eric DE45 for the code. Uh, am I a Mick for the graphics? Uh, Mick Dune, also known as. Matthew Stempel for the music. And William Thorpe Bitjag for the packaging art, nice. which is gorgeous art. Um, so we're playing the retail version of the game. This is first posted May 29th, 2023, so about a year and a half. What happened? Oh, did I die? Yeah, you just died. You just sat I, there and I, didn't I, get out of the way. I didn't see... There you go. Captured. Um, this was an 881k demo game, but I'm sure it's much bigger now. I don't know how big it is for the retail version. And you can kill that guy, I think, anytime, even when he's at the top in this Really? Game. Yeah. You don't have to wait to come down, because he'll sit there forever. Oh! At the top. Oh! So a little bit different. It is different. So the demo was released at uh, Gemtos, G-E-M-T-O-S, -E 2023, an Atari convention held in France on May 27th and 28th, 2023. And he said then the full game will feature 25 levels. 25 levels in five different worlds and hopefully a cartridge release which it is now it's available um xena wings is jalaga renamed its roots are coming from galaga 88 eric d 45 posted you know that. maximum number of shots on screen at once i've seen three mm. at once i'm not sure now it's auto fire when you have the power up. I'm not sure if it's auto fire when you don't nope, have. No, it, it is auto fire all the time. Ah, hey, ah, what the ah, hell are you doing? Whoa! Oh, it got me. <laughs> One shot. Oh That's my on goodness! The screen, oh probably. my goodness! I would concentrate on the bullets. You still have one extra, so you can go in. Do there. I? Yep. Yeah, you can go in there. That's mm -hmm. how many lives in reserve. Okay. You did it properly. Sorry, I just kicked that. Apologies, kitty. What are you eating? Are you both so fast? Now? Oh, I see. No, none of that. None of that. Even strings. Sorry, stop it. Okay, let's take a look at the manual now. So nice. This game is beautiful. Um, 
but you can repeatedly press for faster shooting versus auto fire. Oh, mm. we can try that. Oh, comes to the stage. Um, not sure. I don't think so. Oh, right into the bullet. It's when there's a lot going on, I find the shot gets a little bit lost in the background. Right into the bullet. A to continue. A to continue. A to continue. Uh, the planetary system teeters on the brink of annihilation. A ruthless alien species, the Zeno Wang. So they're the enemy. Uh, an insectoid race born from the darkest corners of the galaxy have breached our defenses. With unmatched speed and ferocity, they have obliterated our fleets and now threatened over on our colonies. All seems lost until now. In our darkest hour, hope emerges. A lone, cutting-edge attack ship has been forged in secrecy, faster, stronger, and deadlier than anything we've ever built. Its mission to strike back, to chase the Xenowings into their lair, and to wage war on their home planet. Uh, the fate of humanity rests in your hands. Will it be enough? So, move left and right. B uh, to fire. It's very simple controls. Mm -hmm. uh, your attack craft is designed with simplicity in mind, but simple controls doesn't mean it'll be an easy victory. Mindful strategy, practice, and patience will help you uh, to win the day. Pre-flight procedures. Before you jump into the fray, it is good to brush up on the basics. Zeno Wings offers two gameplay modes. Arcade, play through 25 levels okay. or over five different worlds to defeat all the Xeno Wings. Looks like you made it to World 2. After spending one of your quarters. <laughs> it's true. Yep. Did spend one of <laughs> this is the cool thing about this game. There are multiple waves in the same level. Yes, there are. So you think Which you've defeated crazy. them, but you haven't. There's more to come. Oh, oh my gosh. god, you almost ran right into I it. I know because it's... you got to move the away from I know, it. I know, I know. <laughs> uh, caravan, destroy the maximum number of Xena wings in less than three minutes. Uh, sound options, very obvious. Uh, high scores, check who has the highest score. Ah, it's, right into it. Ugh. You're still playing. You're still playing. It, it's almost immediate. It, it is immediate. There's so you've no pause. you got to be careful. Uh, battle your way through five locations with ever-increasing pushback from the enemy. You will start in the nebula, continuing through the mining colony. Uh, the background parallax is gorgeous mm -hmm. in this. Absolutely stunning. Um, the space lab, and then finally the hive of Xenos. Enemy strategy analysis. The Xeno wings strike in dynamic formations, unleashing their <sighs> devastating particle beams. Uh, at the start of each stage, their squadrons swarm onto the screen, setting a stage for a fierce battle. Enemy details and counter strategies. The Xenowings forces consist of three enemy types, Xeno bosses, escorts, and grunts. As the stage intensifies, they deploy intricate fight flight patterns and coordinated formation attacks to overwhelm the player. Hornet, Scarab, Beetle, Bumble, Stonefly. Uh, the bosses require two shots to be destroyed. Hi, don't jump on anything. 150 points if destroyed. I have to go down the floor. Uh, in the top formation, or 500 if destroyed while attacking. So you get more points while they're attacking. Which just is like the case. Very standard. These guys come down and they, suck you up? I can't remember now. Uh, they usually need other people to be yeah. with them. They can't be alone. Okay. I think it still follows that rules from um, the Galaga series. Okay. Nostalgic says, I like having different scenery and the variety of entrance patterns. Yeah, different scenery gives you uh, a feeling of you're actually moving forward. Even on something like uh, the 2600, just changing the the colors of the backgrounds is enough to refresh the game and oh. keep it... No, no, don't get sucked up. No, 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 no. Uh, to keep it fresh and to give you a sense of moving forward in the game. It's like I made it to the blue level or the orange level. Ah, too many. Too many cornered. So there's the grunts are fire wings, emerald wings, onyx wings, silver wings, and gold wings. And you can tell by their wing color. Uh, requires a single shot to destroy. 50 points if destroyed in the top formation, or 100 points if destroyed while attacking. And the escort requires a single shot to be destroyed. 80 points if uh, destroyed in the top formation, 168 point if destroyed while attacking. Located be between the bosses and grunts. So the escorts are the butterfly looking ones that are kind of filling out the middle 
Additional warnings, beware of a particular ability Xenobosses employ. They can release a powerful tractor beam to capture your ship. Once caught, your ship is absorbed, and then the Xenoboss transforms into a lethal butterfly. Um, the butterfly appears when a boss captures your ship. Okay. Don't, please. Uh, releases your capture ship when hit with a single shot. It doesn't say it has to be at the top or flying. Unlike in Galaga, where uh, that basically ruins your ship if you shoot yes. him while he's at the top. It starts so. attacking you. Yeah. Which is like, oh my god. Oh no. Right, let's get this out of the way. Clutter. Wait. Continue on. Looks very nice, Nostalgic says, and the animation is quite fluid. Oh, it's gorgeous. It'll come to you. <laughs> Don't it need to will. catch it, which it, is it, nice. Which is nice, yes. Because otherwise, the uh, the bullets will get you and you'll be having, you'll, you'll be having a bad time. Um, but hope, hope is not lost. By defeating this mutant foe, your capture chip is freed and merges with you, creating a super fighter. Super fighter, woo! Uh, in this enhanced form, your firepower surges, making it easier to tear through enemies. However, the larger size of the super fighter means you'll need to every ounce of skill to dodge the enemy's relentless attacks. What? So does it go through enemies? I don't... I think it just... No, it doesn't. So I'm not sure what the extra bullet does, like the power-up does. Like, it's not going through enemies easier to tear through enemies is it faster faster shots um some enemies you have to hit twice i don't know if maybe it removes the need to do that yeah it does no that does was it? a watch that guy oh See? you're right still twice so still i'm not twice. sure of the advantage yet. i mean it's wider so i guess it makes it easier to hit them i would Barely. say ah i tried to dodge it oh look at, this look at the wiggles. <gasps> wiggle, 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 so wiggle. awesome the the formations ah the things they do Super that's awesome. Enough. That's enough of your bag eating. Days are over. Your bag de eating days are over, Cap. He's being very silly. It's bad for you, and it's annoying. He says, I want tree time! Tree time! To open up all the stuff. Get rid so of you the can bags. get rid of the bags? Because he is eating them. Did you make it? The next stage? The girth is the advantage, says RC70. <laughs> <laughs> but you're also bigger, too, at the bottom. Yeah. I mean, I'm progressing through the stages, but it's not because I'm not dying. <laughs> it's because I keep putting quarters in the machine. <laughs> That's right. And she keeps running away like a cartoon character instead of going towards the bullets. Well, sometimes you're stuck in a corner, so yeah, that does true. happen. But yes, I agree. Um, any more plastic? Oh, sometimes I'm staring at the monsters. And I'm not paying enough attention to my ship's position. Yeah. It doesn't help. It seems that every, like everything is stacked against you. Stop going ahead. Uh, in this mission, perhaps it is, but with your experience, this incredible new attack craft, and a bit of luck, the Xeno Scourge will finally be put to an end. Good luck! Fun facts about the game. Xeno Wings took two and a half years to complete. Nope. Over there. We started this in March of 2022 and finished of September 2024. The game has been written in pure assembly language, mm. and the core game contains about 36,791 lines of code. Around. Around. They give an exact number, <laughs> not a round number. Are you going to chew on that? <gasps> they came from behind! <gasps> what? Yeah. Oh, if you no. want to play, you just let me know. I know well, you're going well, through finished. the whole thing. They yeah. came from behind. And killed you? Yes! No. Yes, they did. You what? saw it. They I came didn't. right from they behind. They saw it. They, they zipped around and then came from behind. Oh, <laughs> That's <God>. so cheap. <laughs> the graphics are incredible. Oh, they look fantastic. No. Naughty. <laughs> Uh, the handcrafted code leverages all three processes of the Jaguar, the primary CPU and the Jaguar's unique coprocessors, Tom and Jerry, the GPU and DSP. All the graphics are displayed in the Jaguar's unique 16-bit cry color mode. This gives us <laughs> the ability to use RMW option on select sprites to create semi-transparent effects. Mm. <coughs> okay. 
Okay. Mm. Uh, all collisions in the game are pixel precise. Xenowing use custom sound routines and is able to play up to eight channels of music in stereo. Ooh. They come from the sides. They didn't come straight up. Like, straight up behind No, you, they came they? up from under me. Oh. They did. They went back and then came back up. Okay. They, 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 That's they, they, That's they may muddy. have looped around the sides, okay. but they definitely came from behind. Okay. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Gorgeous. Now I can play. When you're done. Yep. Well, my next uh, death, which I'm sure will come shortly. The background does camouflage the bullets sometimes. Do you find that? They're pretty oh, flickery. Oh, yes. Yeah, they can. They, they, they do a little bit because there is a lot of stuff happening in the background. Ah, 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 ah. You can do that if you want. I don't know if it's an advantage yet. It is an advantage. Really? It does. I think I you hit more for sure. For sure. And when you die, do you get the other ship back? I think you do, right? Like when you are that mega ship and you get hit. Oh, that was oh, very God. close. I'm going to watch and see if you get your ship back. If you do, then it's like no disadvantage well, whatsoever. Well, I already got my ship, so... No, when you die, do you lose both ships? Or do you get... You lose one ship and you continue with the Good second question. one. Good question. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Oh, look at... When they die, they, they disappear into... At the top, little they poofs? just little poofs, yeah, little round little poofs. Yeah, little poofs of smoke. I like that, too. No, the keypad buttons are not used for anything. Uh, the A and C buttons are used when the game is over. Um, <gasps> Got trapped there. Terrible. Yeah, you don't lose you you don't lose your ship. Oh, good. You still keep it. That's I still have one perfect. ship left, so. In reserve. Yeah. yeah. Like when the advertising says like more than thirty levels, there's exactly thirty-one, which means technically more than thirty. What stage are you on? Pretty far. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yep. <laughs> Don't dodgy get dodgies. In the corner. Dodgy dodgies. Oh, there's meandering ones now. Got to dodge through them. Oh, I know. You have to. You have to find your path. Oh, it's a great game. Rotary controller? No, I know it was discussed in the forums, um, but there's no rotary controller support unless they. Uh, didn't advertise it in the in the manual, but there's nothing in the manual about rotary support. I do have a rotary controller on this. I will try it when it is my turn. What are we up to now? Fifteen. Okay. Okay. Ten more to 14. go. Can you do it? Can you make it? <laughs> oh my god! Oh yeah. my god! You have to sort of anticipate how them. Do I don't you, know. How do you get out of the way of that? I don't know. I've only. They one went but and. And filled the screen. Yep. Wow. You have to kind of probably wow. know the formations. Like the ones that came from behind. Nope, 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 Games like this are best played with a low, a low, very short throw to a joystick, like original Galaga. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't know about low, but definitely a, a very short throw is beneficial. No, no Bernie for you. Um, so you don't have to. Whoa! <gasps> you just so have to know where they're the, coming. Going in the corners is probably beneficial. There. Yes, there are. There's definitely advantages to the corners for some of this. I'm not, so I'm not a huge fan of the oh, that's um, the, sh the really low joysticks. I like to get a bit more of a grip on the joystick because the, I find the low ones, you can't even get your hand under. You almost have to put it on top. <laughs> this thing can render a lot more sprites. Many more than two. Yeah. It's it's a bit of a step up from the twenty six hundred yes. that only has two sprites. Yeah. Yeah, I, I see at least three on the screen at any any time. I love how they warp in as well. Oh, they're so cool. So I'll wait to tell <gasps> whoa stories of PRG till it's 
my turn. Okay. Because you're usually rendered speechless while playing. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm concentrating as best as I can. Yeah. Um, you can tell stories. I'll probably be dead soon. You'll be fine soon. Yeah. Probably your last quarter. Well, I can, I can. You want to start from the beginning? Oh, uh, yes. Okay. You used all your quarters. Up. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, nobody. How many levels did you say? 25? 25. Nice. Um, but I can start telling stories. Yes. So, yeah, we drive down every year to PRGE. It's not very far. Plus, it's a lot easier than flying and packing back a whole bunch of stuff. Because we had just bags and bags of things that we had to bring back. And equipment that we have to bring down, too. Um, because we brought down uh, two 1702 Commodore 64 monitors for Al. Because he had, I think he said, 40? 40 CRTs uh, for the Atari Age booth. It was massive. Um, I also brought down my Atari 800XL PAL system uh, with uh, VBXE and one megabyte installed because uh, he was going to demo an upcoming game, <gasps> Missile oh Command. Oh, no. It's all over. All right, you're going to do zero credits. Oh, oh, don't cry. It didn't even give me the option. No, because you're out of credits. Oh, you only get three. There's no option when okay, you're out of credits. Okay, there were only three credits. Gotcha. No, 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 no. Hey! No name. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Like cooties. Why does it say demo at the top? Yeah, it says demo. We got all... No, no. You got no. a demo card. Why is this demo? You got a demo card. Oh no! <laughs> what? Yeah. But it still goes up to the levels. It's it does. Yep. Yeah, yeah. What? We're gonna have to ask Alan. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed that. I, I saw the demo earlier. Yeah. Why did yeah. I get the demo card? We got the demo card. But it seems like a full game. I th I think it is a full game. Weird. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. I got a big mix of games that I have to deal with. Yeah. Um. Hi. Hi, sir. Are you fantastic. looking for treat time? Can you read out the chat, please? Uh, so, Broadcaster says, fantastic job at PRGE. Hats off to both of you. Thank you so much for bringing the event closer to those who couldn't make it. We had a great time. We had a great time streaming and running around. Yes. Um, there was, it was so big this year. It was oh my crazy. God, it was huge. We didn't get to everything. No. It's... Like, there was no way. It was just <laughs> nuts. And we saw a couple of talks, but that was it. Two and, talks. Um, like, just the floor was huge, and they opened a day early. We saw Jeremy Parrish. Yes, yes. YouTuber we love, we watch. We love his YouTube. He's a very calm voice. Yes. He presents and things very as, well researched. And also, as a, they're running through a VHS, so I love that, too. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and we saw uh, Atari and Nolan Bushnell's talk. Mm -hmm. um, just talking about Atari. We didn't directly meet Mr. Bushnell. We did no. sit in on his talk, though. Yeah. yeah. We were very good. Um, we saw him briefly on the floor, but we were like, getting ready. Oh my god, we were just doing so much stuff. Uh, what was I... Uh, so, we did three days of broadcasting. Uh, the first day, we uh, concentrated in the Atari Age booth showing off the new games and also the oh my god he was gone oh, note. maybe you can help me. showing off the new games a works yes. in progress the second day we did a tour of the showroom floor um and on the third day we talked to uh the developers and we talked to a bunch of okay. We talked to a bunch of Atari Age developers, mm -hmm. uh, or developers who released through Atari Age, let's say. They're not Atari Age developers. Um, we also talked to Adesti. We talked to Champ Games. Mm -hmm. um, talked to Carl at Songbird. Songbird. We um, talked earlier to ja John Hancock on the second day, yeah. but unfortunately he wasn't at his booth on the third day. No. Um, no. 
So we didn't get to talk we, we, in we depth. We missed him, I think, just by a little bit. But yeah, because okay. it's it's hard to coordinate everything. Yeah. I did and by the him... time we got to the booth, we were quite late. So. Yes. Uh, that's oh, we got to talk happens. to Atari as well. Yep. Um, about the upcoming homebrew releases through Atari. Mm -hmm. Are they homebrew anymore? I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, from uh, Bob Decker Zenzo and a bunch of other people mm -hmm. uh, on cartridge, which is super cool. Whoa. So cool. So fast. So fast. It is. I, I love Galaga 88. All the Galagas. They're so much fun. So it's great to have one on the jacket. Um, yeah, so we broadcast about an hour to two hours every day. Um, we had some equipment difficulties, multiple equipment difficulties. Uh, I mean, not huge ones, but th there were still some issues. Uh, the sound uh, issue, did you yes. did you it sort took, that out? It took a long time really? today oh, no. to go through the sound. Every once in a while, the sound would do something. It would cut out, and then when it came back... It wasn't in sync anymore. It wasn't in sync, and it wasn't in sync for a random variation of time. So I had to really? resync all the sound. And, um, re and you reposted it on YouTube. I reposted it today on YouTube. Um, re resync. Uh, gotcha. Oh my god, is this time between dying and coming back is instantaneous. Okay. It's a coin launch. Um, <laughs> so there was like 25 or no, nah, maybe 20 maximum mm. per video of resyncing I had to do. It took all day today. But I did it, and I've reposted the proper sync sound. So people who watched it live or watched the early versions of it, it is all better now. Thankfully. I feel like people still enjoyed it, even though there were some audio Yeah, they just had to close their eyes or, or disconnect the yeah. audio or, and video. You know, sometimes the video wasn't even pointing directly at a person's no. mouth or anything. During like the way. third day, the interviews, Yeah, yes. it makes a big difference. But first and second, it wasn't as We were kind of running necessary. around, so yeah. yeah. We saw the demo version of the broadcast, says VBG. The demo, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. The work in progress. Yeah. Yeah, it's all better now. Of course, everyone saw the Originals, original one. Yeah. Nobody's looking at the re-releases of it. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta watch the final version. <laughs> well, if um, anyone wants to go back and rewatch something, it'll all be synced up now. So, that's so I'm not sure just yet what happened. It possibly could be a, a frequency, a sampling rate issue mm. on the audio sources. Which Correct. I think it is. It's the director's cut. Yes. The director's cut. Final cut. Or it could be um, the cabling mm. that could have been jostled, but it was random, mm. random amount of time. So I'm leaning more towards the cabling um, because the also the um, steady cam, I guess, uh, get up we had was um, kind of failing because of the pull from the cabling a little bit, causing a little bit of strife. But uh, we will fix that. We're going to get a curly cable next time. Yeah, and I'm it, gonna do... it didn't cause too many problems, but occasionally no. it would pull on the camera and probably like fiddle with the gimbal a little what bit. What did you say? 15 times over the three days, maybe? Oh, maybe not even and that 10? much. Okay. Yeah. It wasn't that bad. Maybe 10 times. It would just kind of go 45 degrees angle. And then I'd have sudden. to try to correct, get the thing to go back. But, but yeah. it did not coincide with the audio drop. No, no. So it wasn't that in it was some kind of disconnection. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you, Rod Kassler, uh, who says you manage pretty well with the issues. I could follow and enjoy all of it easily by hitting pause and resuming. Yeah. And um, the quality came in and out. We were using our, our cell phone. reception. Yeah. And streaming over the the cell data. And what was the broadcast amount? 3,000? It was normally sitting around 3,000? 3, 3,000 okay. most of the time, and then occasionally it would kind of drop. And, like, there's nothing you can do. I mean, it's no. it's whatever the quality of the signal at that point, so... And I can't um, remember how, how fast the in-house Wi-Fi was, but maybe we'll use that next year, because I would like a, a constant good quality. RC70 says, like an old school phone cord. Yes, yes. It yeah. has like a curly one. Yeah, that's what we're going to get should next help. time. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we talked to a lot of a lot of people. Um, and we met... Oh my god, that was close. 
there was a lot of people that uh, came up to us, maybe not while we're broadcasting, and just and said hi. They were fans of the show. Yeah. And even a fan from way back yeah. before I was doing the show of other video projects that I did. Yeah. And he came up to me. I just rewatched it again. It's funny. It's eh? like uh, I have a strange question. Are you Canadian? Yeah. <laughs> and I do have a very different look from back then. Yes. I have longer hair. Yeah. I have a beard. So um, he said he recognized my face, not my voice. Yeah, that would and make sense. And I guess uh, he didn't want to come right out and say, are you so-and-so? Um, oh my God. How am I supposed to shoot that? Is this a bonus stage now? No, no. There's. Okay. I haven't seen any bonus, no bonus stages. stages. No. Oh, interesting. Well, they that all come in, in multiple waves. There's yeah, no they way are, you, you can get yeah. that unless you're prepared for it. Can just going to come on the right-hand side next time? Uh -huh. Right over here for next black hole entrance? No. No, no I they're think... coming down. Um Yeah, and then I said yes, I am. <laughs> then we're, then I was trying to figure out where he knew me from, but he then he said said the project name. Yeah. I thought, oh that's 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 cool. <laughs> yeah. So I don't I don't meet uh, those people much anymore. Yeah. because uh, it's been quite a while since since that. Since like fifteen years, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> since that uh, those old projects. Um, and we met lots of people who watch the show. Yeah. Um, people who just watch it on YouTube. That yeah. Don't, don't have a name on Atari Age. Yeah. Don't, don't have a, a Twitch account. Because yeah. I asked them, oh, what's your online name? And they're like, I, uh, I, I, don't, I don't have, have one. one. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. And, and it's always really cool to, to meet. Yeah, it is. Um, people who watch the show. Yeah. I hesitate to call them fans because that feels like it elevates me <laughs> too much. Uh, I mean, they, they watch, watch the, show. the show. They watch the show. Yeah. Um, so we had stickers to give out. We had uh, coasters to yeah. give out. So we're trying we to give those out those to away. people yeah. who come up to us. We forgot constantly. Well, sometimes we, yeah. we, we gave out we a tried. few. We tried. Yep. Yep. Oh my God, we're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Ah! Ah! This, no. is, this is scary. Oh my god. It's oh, pretty scary. Oh my god. And you come back right away. Although oh. I think you are slightly invincible uh, when you first come back, I've noticed. Uh -huh. Aha. <sighs> this little guy is so cute. Dedicated viewers. Dedicated viewers. That's yes. a good name for them. Yeah. Well, compared to fans, oh, I, I feel like. Word. You can like watch word. a show and be a viewer of the show. I'm not a fan. A fan <laughs> would be someone who who Takes comes it a frequently. Bit yeah, no, who, who oh. watches it frequently, right? Yes. So, yes, you know, that's true. The, what's interesting with YouTube and videos is someone might know you from one video and not be yes. a fan of the show, but really like something. You know what I mean? Like one thing or yeah. one video. See, that, see, that, I oh told you god. they came from behind. Oh my god, cheaters! Yeah. He didn't Jesus. believe me. <laughs> I'm like, no, they came from behind. So you, yeah, you have to memorize that level. Yeah, you just have to know when I don't that have happens. Any left. I'm stuck on this yeah. side. Get out of here. Get, get, get. Um. So we, uh, yeah, met a lot of developers. Yeah. Um, talked lots to a lot of, of cool developers. People. Lots of cool people. Hung yeah. out with people. Oh, yeah, we set up the Atari Age booth mm -hmm. as as we usually do. Thank you, Rod. So we had a lot of fun doing that and hanging out with Al and April and uh, the rest of the people that helped set up innumerable amounts. Um, we had our meetup, my Atari, uh, our Atari Age ZPH meetup at, at Ground, Ground Control. Control. That was a lot of fun. A lot of a lot fun. A lot of people showed up for that. That was yeah. really cool. Some Atari people made it out there. Even though I figured Atari... everyone would be just completely exhausted, they still came. Yeah, so we thank don't. You. It, a lot of people made it. A lot of people didn't make it. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's hard. On it's a long day. It's a long but, day. But uh, yeah, we got, we got a good turnout for that. Oh, this cat is... I just... I'm so I'm scared. Where should I be? I, don't know. Side. I always ah, find so wherever scared. wherever they materialize, you do not want to be directly near them. You want to be slightly oh offset because otherwise they will get you. Ah, 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 ah. Yep. Yeah. They okay. stay on that side though. Continue. That really didn't make me that was very smart. Yeah, I'm gonna just stay on the opposite side. So I've used one quarter up yeah. now. 
episode. Rodcaster says, I considered myself a fan, even though I can't always make it. Well, thank you, Brad. Oh, thank uh, you. I, I'd love to visit Ground Control. Ground Control is it's pretty, pretty cool. cool. Yep. Yeah, they've got a really good selection of arcade games. A good enough selection. Um, oh, my God. Need to power up. Come on down. Someone was saying in Oregon, level one is a fantastic pinball yeah. and arcade so spot, So maybe too. we'll do that next time we if it's not to too far. That. Yeah, yeah. Come down. Never been there, so. You gonna move? Come on down. No, they don't always come down. I want a bigger ship. I, they have their patterns. Nope, not coming down. Okay. Quest says it came from behind. Sounds like like some good movie. Yes. Some 50s movie. Yeah. It came from behind. <laughs> yeah. In the dark. No one is safe. Having one of those ZPH coasters make you a fan as well? Yes. If you uh, have a ZPH uh, yes. coaster that you fan. use, you're a fan. <laughs> yes. 100%. <laughs> Some people have put it up on their shelves. No, you can use it. It wipes off. Yep. Don't have to be care, uh, yep. careful of it. Yep. There's always more. Oh, my RC score 70 reset. or a porno, maybe. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> that does sound, yeah. Useful name. Yeah. <laughs> Many purposes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, and Rod Kessler is saying, I attended a Journey concert a couple weeks back, and the data network just refused to work with so many people. <gasps> yeah, well, that was our concern, too, is yeah. with the streaming that it might not work. Uh, but it did. It did work out quite but well, But I know actually. the cell will be a good backup this time because the um, speeds have improved immensely since since last time. I don't think we could have done it on the cell phone con connection. What? What? Two of them? You have two. What does that mean? I don't know. I hope it's super ship because on Galaga 88 you can have a triple ship. <gasps> triple ship. Triple ship. Uh, oh, Damn it! No! Oh no, you lost it! Well, you well, get that no. one. I didn't really lose it. Yes, you did. No, because I still had my ship. Or no, but I? you lost it. No, you lost a life. Did I? No, way to pooch that, says me. I know. <laughs> Not my fault. Uh, now I have no extra ships to do that with. Yeah. I know. Now I'll have to. Okay. It, it doesn't say anything in the manual about triple ship. Yeah. I don't know if that's a a bug. Um, it might be a bug. Um, I need to go message someone very quickly. I'm sorry, I do not want to give up this cat. Okay. But I will have to give up this cat. Damn and it! And I will be right back. Ah! I, I blame right you. Back. I blame you. I just lost two ships in a row. You're going to bring your phone down and message from here? Okay. Uh, we also... Oh my god, I'm so scared now that these ships are going to fly off and kill me. Ah, 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 Oh my god. I want that triple ship. Is it worth the sacrifice of possibly losing all the ships? Are you going to come down? Oh my god. Oh my god. Deadly. Deadly. Some levels, they just don't come down at all. They're just like, nah. No, we're good up here. You're not getting any extra ships. Not at all. Uh, yeah, we helped uh, pack up uh, the Atari Age booth as well uh, on the Sunday night. So, oh my god. The screen is moving, even though it's not moving, because it's constantly... Stage 16. I think this is my third continue. Tanya owes you a quarter? What? Yeah, she does. How do I? Why, why owe you a quarter? You owe me another quarter because I died oh. two two deaths in a row. He loses as his own you were quarters. leaving the room because no. I had to talk to you. Ooh, no, but... no, that's not. <laughs> no. I really not like valid. the flight patterns of the aliens. Yes. <laughs> They're really good. They're really nice. good. Psst, 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 psst. It is busy. <laughs> Come on. What uh, what stage are you at now? Sixteen, seventeen. Hi, cats everywhere. These guys ships. are so cuddly. Get that one at top. Get I want, it. I want multiple ships. Yeah. So. Ah, ah. You can get another ah. one, can't you? Ah. Oh, no, I guess you can. Damn it. <gasps> now you can. <laughs> well, not really. You don't have three ships to get. Yeah, an extra ship. One, but not two. So I guess you have to get sucked up. 
twice. Yes. But you have to have three and ships to do it. I did get sucked up twice. I know, but you have to have three ships to do it. Um, no, you can have two ships. No. One is your plank. Look, you have none left. Not right now, but if you have two extra ships. No, that's what I said. You have to have two. You have to have three you said, ships. You said, oh, three ships. Like in total, you have yeah. to have three ships. Not three at the top. No. Okay. No. That is cool. We're what did you think semantics. I was saying? <laughs> I thought you were saying you have to have, to have three ships yes, at the top because you're pointing to the screen, <laughs> and I thought you meant three ships at the top. Yeah, but you didn't right now is what no, I was trying to I point out. Yeah. I heart non-bullet hell shooters like this, says Philip yes. Meyer. Yes. Bullet hell so much fun. is just moving a ship through a maze and holding down I... the fire button and then pressing... Yeah. Um, there are times where this does feel like bullet hell, mind you. Oh. But um. Well. Mm -mm. The, when you've got the guys <laughs> and the bullets coming at you all at the same time. Briefly. But briefly. um. I don't mind a bullet hell. They're kind of fun in their own way. But this is a different kind of, you know. Yeah, this is a normal shooter. It's, it's a normal bullet hell is, shooter. Bullet hell is just the screen is filled with pink. And you have to dodge all the pink dots. Yes. That's what bullet hells are. Pink dot Hi. dodging. Did you miss me? Did ah. you miss me? Ah. These guys are like itching for treat time, by the way. Not yet. Don't interrupt no? me. No. Okay. We'll do it at the end. Okay. I think that was a glitch. That double ship. I th think I was... I don't know what happened. I have to look at it again. RC70 says, Geometry Wars is just so fun. Other bullet hells are too much. <laughs> uh, I have played Geometry Wars, but I can't remember. It's been so long. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. No. Stop flying off. <laughs> ah, it's getting bigger. The, oh, the circle. Oh, it gets more. Yes, yes. This game you have to play defensively. Oh, yes. A lot coming down at some points. Sometimes it's so. Oh, so this is no. hard. This is hard. You don't want to be in the middle. I don't think you want to be in the middle. I don't want to be on the side oh, either. Oh, it's trapped. not too bad. It's not too bad. <laughs> so scared. I don't want to make it to the end. Broadcaster says I need to get an emulator and get my hands on this game. Yes, you do. I... Yeah, I. Th I think you can get it. Oh god, no. This no, one no, is no. crazy. No, what? Uh, no, bad. There's some. I don't know if the ROM is available or will be available soonish. I know you could order it through the Patreon of Reboot, somebody was saying. But I think that was just the cartridge you could order through Reboot. Six more stages to go. I don't know how many quarters I have now. KVG says, I haven't noticed as many in-corner deaths in this versus Galagan Galaxian. No, Eesh. it doesn't do it, the You can get forcing. caught in the corner with the shots. Mm, it's not too but bad. But it's not too bad. You can get caught. Like, there's the lots of bullets that go to the corner. Oh, yeah. But Galaga really, it, like, pushes you, you to, to the corner. You have to avoid it, yeah. It pushes you and then traps you in the corner. And that is not gonna come down and take the ship no it usually comes shoot. straight down i think it does i think if if they just kind of float down yeah i don't think they're coming for you but also I'm so scared you don't have a ship to take so i'm so scared oh it's my last ship this this quarter on this one <laughs> funny when you have only so many continues they are like quarters it's like well you have to go home now mm -hmm. <gasps> that guy's gonna oh, oh no I told you, you don't want to do that. Give it back. Give it back. Give it you back. You need the quarter. Back. Give it back. Do you get it if you put a quarter in, eh? Oh, you do. <gasps> oh. oh, so that's nice. fine. Nice. That's fine, then. You could have waited and gotten sucked up again, I suppose, but that's okay. I don't know. I don't know how easy that is. I don't bullet know. Bullet tells you watch the gaps between bullets rather than the bullets themselves. I think yes. That is correct. That is. It's a maze of bullets. Not super fun. I have some light bullet hells upstairs for various systems. Stage 20. But I barely play. You're it getting there. So, yeah, five more to go. <clears throat> Six, depending. I don't know if there's a boss at the end. Oh, okay, one guy. One guy came out of there. 
really have to shoot them coming out. Oh, you do. As much as you can. As much as you can, because they just... They fly off their formation and go right towards you. And they go f so fast, sometimes it's hard to uh, see them peel off. Oh, fast! Stop it! Yep. The longer I play this, the more I'm convinced that that double ship thing was bug. Was really? A fluke. No, I bet you could start never from the beginning and do it again. I've never seen it again. No, because Is because that... you pick it up right away. You had one up there, and you have to get captured oh. again. You have to get captured twice in a row. Okay. So I don't think it's a bug, but you have to be very deliberate to do it. Mm, you have to not shoot the ship that's already been cap captured. So, so we should try that. So Please don't. Time. But once you've yeah. powered up, it won't happen. You have to do. You have to set up two of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, this is the demo. <laughs> Apparently, it's the demo. Yes. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I guess it was the demo cart? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even see that. Whoa, that's a cool background. Yes, it is. Yep. I think we're getting near bees. bug territory. Yeah. Be shaped. Yeah, it's a good question if there will be like a final boss. Hexagons are the besticons. Hex hexagons are the besticons. Hopefully at the end there's just one big massive bug that you have to fe defeat. I don't know if there's a boss. It doesn't make sense. Ah! No, 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 no! Don't! 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 Don't kill me. Oh, I'm so scared. I love the patterns. So yeah. I love the patterns they come out with. Yes. There you go. <gasps> what? You shot him. Oh, no, okay. I strafed him. There still might be another one. Oh, it's too late now. No, there's still one. No, you need oh. two. You need you need at least two to suck oh. up two. So okay. you'll have to wait till the next level. Oh, or the next. Oh, there's coming. a bunch of bad guys there. Okay. Yeah. Bosses. Just depends. Ah! That was going to kill me if I didn't move to the right. Uh, okay. How many quarters did I have left? getting harder. But Definitely. I found some of the middle levels like really hard with the patterns mm -hmm. that, that spread out and just kill you. Well, the ones that come from behind. That was... <laughs> that's a very that's unfair dirty. level. That's a dirty trick right there. I don't know what level that was, but it was very dirty and it didn't repeat again. No. So you Well, none of them repeat. The patterns seem to be no. new every stage. Every time, which yeah. is great. Okay. Why don't you guys come down? Oh, excuse me. I got that reference. <laughs> Oh, did you? Nice. Try and throw references here. Okay. Oh, don't kill that one. No. Oh, is that guy gonna zap That's you? Another one. Oh, let him. Let him go back to the top. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Uh, Maybe he'll come back. Don't uh, kill him though. <laughs> I don't know. I'm scared. I think. I just want to kill them. Will he come down? Will he zap? No, I don't think he's in a zap formation. Yeah, he I'm so might. So scared. I don't care. I don't care. I'll do, it. I'll do it in another game. I don't want to wreck this game no, don't by do doing it. weird things. There you go. Double shot. Yay! It's not a double shot. It's a it's a wide shot. I'd love it if it was double shot. That would help a lot. 22 out of 26. Your theory about getting two ships captured, yes. I think, is absolutely And I think you have to be in single ship formation. It won't come and try to pick yep. you up if you're in double ship. Uh, from what I can tell. Yep. He, yep. They don't come and do the double ship. The the, the teleporting or no, whatever you want to call that. Yeah. So I think you have to be in a single ship. You have to get captured twice. You have to not shoot because I think your you captured go ships. Yeah. But will it form a triple ship That's or is it a bug? That's what we all want to know. Yeah. I will, I, if we have time. Oh boy. We will oh play, boy. We'll play through it. Another go. What time yeah. is it? It is 7.40, so I will have to mm, see. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah. Not too bad. We are going to... Master Boot Record. Master Boot Record. Yes. They play live a Commodore 64 on stage and have demos running, C64 demos running on big screens mm -hmm. in the background. It is Metal Chiptune. Mm -hmm. 
It is awesome, and I can't wait. Oh my god, no, they don't come out from the bottom. They come in. God damn it! Oh, now you can get captured. I can, but only You don't want to. You don't want to. You want to make it to level 25. I do want to get captured. Once. It does help. Once. Yeah, not twice. MBR is an excellent band name, says RC7. Yep, Master Boot Record. All their... You should look up their album names and um, song names. They're all so, so geeky. They're mostly PC references. Ban hammer. Level. We don't want your fake views. Twenty-three. Three more levels. Two more till we see the last. <gasps> what? Just what? You ran right into it. Oh my god. Oof. Into the bullet. Into yeah. The bullet. Yes, I hope I have one more quarter. I don't know. Do you? This is my last life if I don't. Multiple, multiple, multiple waves in each level. What <gasps> just hit me? Oh no, no! <laughs> ah. Oh, so close. Oh, can you scroll down? Your chat is paused. Oh. So we're gonna try. Nostalgic ass are metal chip tunes accompanied by wailing guitars and a drum kit. Or is it all strictly electronic? I don't know if there's drums. There's definitely guitars. So we're going to... What are you doing? What are you doing? Try and doing? get captured twice. They're eating little bits of string that's going to kill them. No! No! Please don't do that. <laughs> Let me! Don't, don't prevent me from being bad! Don't eat bread. That is very bad for cats, though. No! What did I say? What did no. I say? What did I say? What did your mommy say? No, don't eat bread. That's one. One captured. I think I killed some of the bottom. Yes. Ah. There we go. Okay, it's it's a regular occurrence. Now I just have to kill both of those guys. What is he doing? He's chasing the threat, which is really bad. I have to go through that couch and put a hole in I think so. Threadsy's probably created himself. Oh, 100%. They scratched that couch constantly. No! Okay. Stop it. Got one ship. I can just dodge his bloody bullets because I've left so many guys in the screen. Stop blocking me. Oh nope. It's not necessarily a bug, but you just you just die. You just kill the guy. And you don't get the ship. It just disappears. So it didn't work. Nope, it didn't work. Uh, it captured twice. Okay. They're both at the top. I shot one, I got a double ship, and um, then I shot the other and it just went poof. So it's not really a bug. It's it's, it's just like, don't you just do it. lose a ship. Okay. Yeah, don't Fair do enough. it. Fair enough. So you lose a guy too? Correct, because you get yeah. Can you scroll all the way down? Yeah. Uh so let's play caravan before we go. In caravan mode, timer is three minutes. It's good it reminds you. What will be the tactic? Oh my god, it's not at the oh, beginning of the level. Maybe it would work level. if you got hit before shooting the second bug that captured you. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it would, but you don't want to get hit. I would. I was hoping for a triple ship. Yeah, but it didn't. I Yeah, it, it didn't add the ship to you, so. so... And they do get added, added one at a time, so yeah. So it doesn't look like you get a triple ship. So in caravan mode, ship. really, what you're trying to do is shoot all the flying bugs. Okay. 
because that's where you get the most points. Oh, it has a countdown. Oh, it's countdown that's time, nice. so it's as much as you can in the time you have. Okay. So not flying. But you have very little time. No, it's probably not helpful. Wasting time, wasting time, wasting time. You don't want to get captured. That's for sure. Oh my god, it's like 15 seconds. This will make for a very good future competition mode for a high score competition that uh, Maybe it would machine work holds. Oh, sorry, saw that, yeah. Uh, not sure if I'm a big fan of the background moving so fast. It does give you the sense <laughs> that you're moving even though you're not. There's something about that. I think it I like looks it. fantastic. Gorgeous. It could move slower. But it, it, I can see how it might make you a little dizzy. <laughs> When when it stops, it looks like you're still you're moving. Yeah. I can't remember the name of the, so the effect, but. Uh, so <laughs> Blanca says, "I wish this <laughs> hashtag it came from behind would trend in social media. Would be funny clips. <laughs> that would be. So you, it's a countdown timer, highest points. Yep, yeah, and you want to shoot all the moving things. Everything that's coming the highest down. Points. Yeah, true." But you also want to just keep shooting so you can get to the next level and get a big, a bunch of So them. when the guy is about to suck you up, he comes like on a, down on a diagonal. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. He doesn't obvious. do the side by side and down, side no, by side No, it's down. pretty direct. Yeah. But when the bullet speed matches the background speed, it camouflages the bullets oh, a bit. Yes, it does. Oh, that's probably when I was dying. Yeah. I was like, what hit me? I've had that happen a couple of times because it does kind of camouflage it so you kind of miss it, especially if it's going in a straight line. No, no. Oh, but he blocks you. I he does. I can shoot him. Nope. Can't shoot him. Ah, see, it wastes like five to ten seconds. Almost ten seconds. So you don't want to do that in caravan mode. This doesn't actually kill them faster. It just makes them easier to hit. The big bullet. It makes them, yeah. So it's not an advantage to waste that 10 seconds in caravan mode. And three lives is more than enough to do it. Time's there up. There you go. 19840! Cool. High score! This cat just keeps, like, fighting with me and falling asleep on me. It's like, Mom! Why did you leave me? You're terrible. You're the worst mom ever. Oh, I put that in. It's not the worst girl in the world. This little guy. I miss these cats so much. Oh, they obviously so missed much. us too. Good guys. There we go. And that is Xeno Wings. We will be playing it again because, and after, because I almost oh, made yeah. it to the end. <laughs> almost. Oh, so close. Very, right. very fun shooter. Mm -hmm. If you want a good shooter, that it's is the time. one. Yeah. Oh. Yay! Thank you, Nostalgic! It is time to feed the, the very spoiled cats. Oh, so The very, cats. very spoiled cats. Let's reset the scores. Oh, Let's I'm so excited. Start up. Are you excited? Are you excited, kitties? We're excited. excited. First treat time back. Yes, let's see if Sid is as fast as he was before. Are you ready? Here's the prediction. So you pick the cat. You pick the over-under. This guy gets a lot of points. Um, so this is little Sid. And Atari usually gets his ass handed to him. So that's <laughs> well, why he only has... But you never know. He does sometimes win. Sometimes. Some, sometimes. This guy's just very, very excited and energetic when it comes to treats. So. Yes, yes. Atari, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? So you can pick from Atari getting any points yeah. or winning by X points. Yeah. Or Sid 1 to 2, Sid 3 to 4 over Atari. Yeah. And Sid 5 plus, yes. which you can get. And you never know because you want to make sure there's a nice spread that someone's someone's in the spread because a couple of episodes ago for the first Atari time won. ever... 
Sid won with like one to two. Yes. And no one bet on him. So yep. no one got any points. <laughs> Went to nothing. So if you don't know what to the bet. House won. If you don't know what to bet, yep. just wait till near the end and throw 10 points. You might as well on throw an it empty in there. One. You never know. I feel like they all have a pretty good chance of coming into be, coming, you know, yes. of happening. That's what I want. Yes. A good even amount because yes. then everybody will just put all their money on one. Mm -hmm. So Sid 5 Plus is still open. You have mm -hmm. 40 seconds left. Just watch the countdown timer. Uh, what else? What other what other things happened? While we were away? Uh, what, well, let's see. While we were away at PRGE. Mm. Lots of shopping. Yeah. Was I tempted by anything else there? Don't think so. I think I bought everything. The two things I, I was tempted yeah. by. Trackball controller. I mean, you were looking for what a PAL C64, which I you knew. figured you'd never find. I've so never seen them. I think I've uh, never seen PAL stuff there almost. Oh, four once. seconds left to put your points on SIP 5 Plus. Anyone? Anyone? Nobody no. bits, bit, bit on right. SIP 5 Plus. All right. Let's see what happens. Yeah. So the most points going to SID 1 to 2. I think that's a pretty good bet. Yeah. yeah it's a, but we'll see. It's a fair Atari bet. could win. SID could have a massive landslide. We never okay, quite know. Kittens. There's those. Let me get them in my hands so I'm ready to toss. Are you ready, cats? Go down the ground. On the ground. Come on. Okay. Let me know Wait. when you're ready and I will put the bells down. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ready. Go. Oh, oh it's Atari. Atari off to the takes races. the lead. There's Sid close behind. It's tied one all now. Oh, we did have uh, a bunch of good food, actually. And Atari. Atari gets two points. Sid is trying to get another point. It's Sid. tied up to all. Atari's back. He's hungry for points. Harder. He's covering. He's blocking. He's blocking. Oh, that was Sid. Oh, I didn't even hear it. Okay, I did. three, two. Hit it. Harder. Nope. Harder. Harder, buddy. Harder. Oh, my goodness. He's trying so hard. Oh, <gasps> there you it. go. Atari ties it up. Sid's back at the pink bell. Oh, he's going over the blue bell. Oh. He gets it on the blue bell. Crunchy, crunch, crunch. And so, oh, oh, Sid! Five, four for Sid. Atari! Atari brings up the rear with four points now. Sid is back at the bell. It's Sid again! Points. I think he's found his second wind. Sid is nuts. He is nuts. Oh, oh Sid again! Seven, four. He's Hit up three points. Is he going for four? Hey, no. Atari! Atari makes it seven, five. Sid is... Sid oh, again! That was soft, five. but he hit it. He did. He was sniffing Harder, it first. Harder, there you go, Atari. Eight, six, oh, Sid nine, again! Six. Oh, my goodness, game point. Game point. Can he make oh. it four up? It, oh, blocked by Atari. Atari gets, doesn't get it. <laughs> Atari's blocking it. He gets oh, Atari it. gets a... Nine, six, oh, and it's and over. Oh, Sid! Ten, Ten seven. seven. Sid win, <laughs> wins by three whiskers. Good kitty! Good kitties all around. Good I kitties all around. <laughs> stinky, stinky. So let's dole out the points to the winners. It is Sid up three points. And the winner is RC70 splitting Yay. it with Dan AVC uh, at a ratio of seven and a half to one. Very good ratio. Sid by three whiskers. Woo so who's our big winner? Yeah. RC70 and Dan. Yep. Very RC nice. RC70 and Dan. 4.9 nice. thousand points. Very big, nice. big, 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 big. Very nice. So uh, we thought we would do this show just because we're back. Had some stories and to tell. And you really wanted to play Xeno Wings? I really wanted to play Xeno Wings. Yeah. Even if it was the demo. <laughs> that close. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I have no idea what that demo thing is. No. Another question for Al when he's collected himself and <laughs> calmed down and had a couple days of sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, finally won with a 150 bat. Oh, Whoa. very good. Very, very good. good bat. Um, oh, how was the food? Any good places you had a chance to eat at? Oh, yes. We ate at many nice places. Um, I always go to Nicholas, which is a Mediterranean restaurant, which is yummy. Yeah, that was very good. Uh, Sizzle Pie was where we always meet people for Decent pizza. pizza. Um, they have vegan and all kinds of different options, so they're really good. Decent pizza. I wouldn't say the best pizza, but I it, like them. There's I a like lot them. of room. There's nothing wrong. Tons with of options. Yeah. Um, we went to the hotel. Had a good breakfast where we're staying at. Yeah, and they also have a really neat rooftop restaurant. Yes. Um, we went to Tropicale. 
um, <laughs> which I assume is how you pronounce it. Um, they have, uh, they're, they're just like a little taco place, but they specialize in pina coladas. So side, we went there. Side of pina colada. It was lovely. Very strong flavor, but it was very good. It was very good. Um, we are forced to eat that is close to the hotel convention walking distance. Yeah. That does make it challenging. Oh, yeah. We went to a food truck area. Oh, on uh, Mississippi Avenue? Uh, yeah. It was uh, recommended by Lee Kebler. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, there were some very good food trucks. He said, not that one. Yes, that one. Yes, that one. Yeah. And definitely not that one. Yeah. He was so funny. Yeah. He, he guided our, our stomachs yeah. towards As the As a local, stuff. he was like, this is where you want to go. Um, but so it was really have? cool. Um, what kind of food did we have? So it was an enclosed area. Well, it had the like um, a cover, like a permanent yeah, like, wooden raining. structure, which was nice in the middle where you sat. Um, and there was a like a German bar, which was having Oktoberfest right next to it, in which September. had an open patio <laughs> yeah. and um, and then uh, a bunch of food trucks. And there was an Indian one, which we had one day for oh, lunch, yes. so good. which was delicious. That was really good. They had Mexican. They had bowls. They had a barbecue place, which we didn't eat at, but that was very popular, it seemed. And then we came back two days later. And, and they had, had a breakfast, breakfast sandwich place. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ivory Tower Collections, we were at... Well, the Hotel Eastland. That had, had some very good breakfast sandwiches. Yeah, like they have a little, almost like cafe on the lower floor, which I think they have more options during the week than the weekend. Yes. But they have like, um, like English muffin breakfast sandwiches, and they have like a fully plant-based vegetarian one and a regular one that they offer in the behind the counter and it's delicious they're delicious yeah, so we great. just and so convenient every morning uh yeah um, you can eat and go but or they had other there. breakfast burritos and they had other sandwiches as well so yeah it was quite nice oh the hyatt didn't have breakfast oh, much breakfast. much breakfast well. looked nice we went in there briefly I wouldn't say it had a ton of stuff, no, but it that that, that stuff. little that little cafe was perfect for just a quick breakfast. Of so. all the people you met, anyone you found enjoyable, interesting. Well, the guy who who knew me from like twenty years ago that you found from quite broadcasting interesting. that was interesting. That's yeah. definitely interesting. Yeah. Um. When, oh, something we didn't say, but you probably know about it if you were reading threads and stuff. There was a fire alarm. Oh yeah. That went off on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, it, the whole building had to be evacuated. All the vendors as well. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what you're doing. Um, all the vendors as well. So as we went outside, um, I ended up beside this guy and, uh, eventually we're talking and he said, oh, that I, that I, I eventually came out that I did a show. And he's like, oh, I, I collect Atari stuff. I'm surprised I haven't heard of your show. And then I gave him a sticker. And, <laughs> That's and, nice. Um, and then he uh, messaged on Twitter. Oh, really? So he's going to watch oh, a, nice. a show. I yeah. don't know. He, he says That's he awesome. usually watches 5200 stuff. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we do play some A little bit of everything. Stuff, yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, Tetris Championship. We, yes, we didn't have a chance to really watch much of it. We were busy during. Yeah, we're yeah. broadcasting pretty much right to the end of Sunday. Yeah, and that's when they had the the final. So yeah, so yeah. we didn't we didn't unfortunately get to watch the end. That's really awesome to yeah. watch. Yeah, we didn't this year unfortunately, but um, last year we did. We met so many people. Lots of people just kind of came, came up to us and said hi, which is really cool. Yeah, people watched um, the show. Yeah, uh, more than ever, I think, this year. You think in so, terms yeah? of random people. Yeah, yeah. I like mean, a lot I would of random say random people came up, not like a lot of people came up devs. to us after COVID. I found there were a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. After the, that, twenty twenty one or twenty twenty two, I can't remember which 2022 year. Twenty twenty two is the first one. Um, yeah. That I think we ran into a lot of people, which was really cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this year there were quite a few people who kind of recognized us and came up and said hi, oh, and really nice. who we recognized from the chat and people, even people at like booths that. too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, are one, you on that show? Oh, and it's was, like, oh, there was one booth. One yeah. guy says. I think I recognize you. I don't, I yeah. don't know. <laughs> yeah. And then his partner said, yeah, he does the 7,800 <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Zero page. Yeah. And then his, then the, the other guy went, oh, uh, that yeah. guy. That was nice. Yeah. yeah, that was really nice. So yeah, that's always nice. So I think, yeah, I think a lot of people recognize us, but I think even more people don't come up to us that recognize us because they don't want to. 
bother us or something. And, and I do notice from time to time people kind of side-eyeing, like, I think that's a person, <laughs> but do I want to say hi? And I've definitely noticed that. And probably especially too. when we're broadcasting. Well, because we have like a microphone that says ZPH on it. Yeah, famous in this very small <laughs> circle uh, of people, but yeah. Yeah, a medium fish in a small pond. I would say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very medium. Yeah. Hard to approach when you're broad. Well, yeah, they don't yeah. want to be on. And it's totally fine. It's just, yeah, it's it's just kind of neat. But the we... hairdo makes James quite distinct. Yes, that's yeah. correct. Yes. And it makes, you, it makes me easy to find. Yeah. Uh, and the one one of the only times that we got sep- that we separated, you went to go do something. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then the fire alarm goes off. And, and so then we had to, like, I went to get some more soda. That's what it was. And then James was in one one completely different part than me. And then they had the fire alarm evacuation. And I'm going, oh, this is perfect. Because I was just <laughs> going to go right back to him. But then uh, we all got shunted out of different parts of the building. No, and no, had no, to slowly find our way. Shared our location. Track, track our locations and find our way back to each other. So, yeah. Yeah. Cubanismo, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Cuban, yeah, joined us later at Ground Control, but uh, yeah, that was a fun time it playing was a games, good time. having some drinks at uh, Ground Control. Yeah. Um, any other highlights? Nothing that comes to mind, but I'm sure no. I'll it be was, on the show again. It was very and full. Will come to me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, great watching a Portland <laughs> show coverage. Cool shirt, by the way. Yeah. Mine or Tang's? The Jaguar. Both. They're both nice. You can't yeah. really see the Atari on mine, but yeah. yeah. Like um, so shirt. what is coming up on the show? <laughs> um, pretty much the next shows that we're going to be doing. Um, oh, there's a Vectrix one I have to catch soon. up on all the games that have been released yep. since. I know there's a bunch that, um, that I have stacked up. And also some that have been released publicly. So mm-hmm. I have to go through those. Need to catch up on those. We've got the Vectrex games. So we'll definitely have a Vectrex special mm-hmm. soon. Um, one that is scheduled what are you doing? <laughs> on October 11th that you definitely want to tune in for, stop it, is we are going to be premiering, mm-hmm. at least online streaming, can you stop being a bad cat, is Spider's Arcade from Champ Games, yeah. uh, along with an interview with John Champo. And we're also going to be playing, at the same time, his new game, <laughs> Tutum <laughs> Com Arcade. Exciting. Which is very exciting, the final versions of that. Uh, oh, ITC picked up gy- Gyrostronomy and Gyrostrology, yes. and that's one of the games we're going to be playing. Yay, along with, uh, what is it? Hira, oh, it's almost Primera mm. as well. So that's a, that's a shooter. They're both shooters. One's a gyro shooter, the first one. Mm. The other ones, uh, I'm not sure what game it kind of takes after. Uh, what else is coming up? We're going to do an interview with Albert Uruso. We're going to have Atari Age Day. We're going to have a ZX Spectrum special. We're going to have a Fuji Net online gaming special where we play all the online games. Uh, we're going to do an After Dark with the full Tony retail release of it because mm-hmm. we skipped a bunch of levels and then found a bug. And then they fix the bug, so we're going to go back and play that. Nice. Um, we might do some after darks of the retail releases of games yep. that maybe weren't full yet and done. Um, what else? Uh, it's hard. Oh, good. <laughs> Hopefully not super, super hard, but if ITC is saying it's hard, then that it's probably pretty something. hard. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Um, oh, yeah. We talked with um audacity Mm. and um casey's gold is going to be coming out in fourth quarter 2024 so we're going to have dan kitchen on the show that's going to be fun for his release of the exclusive world premiere Mm. of casey's gold that'll be a lot of fun he's added a lot to it he says Mm. um so it'll be great to play through that my cat my t-shirt is full of cat yeah we're both it's out of control we're definitely going to change it before we go to the concert (laughs) yeah um, so a lot coming up yeah. before the end of the year. So there's only so many days. So I'm going to have to start scheduling <laughs> really, <laughs> really knowing. soon some of these things. So we might uh, be full up very close, very soon. Uh, ITC size says, I played the work in progress of Casey's bo- uh, Gold at the Booth. It's great. I think I like it better than Circus Convoy. Yeah, cool. Oh, that's great. Because uh, Dan says he added in some 
variety. So you do some of one level, then you go to a different type of oh, stage. Oh, I see. You go back, and then you go oh, to okay. a third type of stage. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. so that looks good. Jaguar hair yeah. is hard to remove. That is no. correct. Oh, cats. And it's we've got a black and white cat. Yeah. So no matter what you wear. Oh, you'll get a cat. It'll, it'll show. be visible. Yes. Wearing a black shirt. You get the white hair. And then we have a white shirt. We black. run the gamut of, of black, white, and gray. Uh, black, All white, my and favorite gray. colors. Yes. Yeah. So that's it for tonight. Yes. We're going to be back on Friday night. Mm -hmm. Friday night? day. Or sorry. Day. Day? And whose I day think it might be Erlen. is it? Let me I think look it that might be up. Erlen. Uh, what saying. day is it? It's a Friday. It is Erlen's day. Yeah. There we go. So I don't know exactly what that is going to be that we're playing. I'll have to look through the schedule. Probably a catch-up day. Yep. Yeah. On some games that have popped up in the last yeah. week or so. Yeah. We do have some lind rollers. Yes. yes. If, you, if you have cats, you have to have lind rollers. <laughs> You're going to have a bad time. So thanks yeah. for tuning in today for this impromptu show. Uh, thank you, Pseudographics. He finally made it. He's like, I set my alarm. It's going to happen. I'm going to make it this time. Uh, nostalgic RC70 I Retire Collections. Leopold Rod is a Kessler. cat. Uh, Cubanismo. Philip Meyer. Rod Kessler. You said that. Polygox. Yeah. Danny VC. Uh, all the spammers. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> Double down. <laughs> Philip Meyer, 1975. Um, nope, not up there, little baby. <laughs> slowly take him off there because he'll just scramble uh who else was chatty um yes ramirez box. more spammers <laughs> rich so cash who we met nice meeting you um I think that's it. Elna Fur, I saw in there. Oh, Elna Fur. Yeah. And everybody else who yes. is lurking and everybody else on YouTube. Hi on YouTube. Yeah. If you made it this far. All right. Have a good night. Have a good night. And we will see you on Friday, Friday. afternoon. So are off to the uh, chiptune Yay. metal concert. Okay. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.